I was standing in my bedroom, in front of the door, with my bed on my right side. The place was almost totally dark, but enough illuminated for me to be aware that was my bedroom, and there was a girl next to me. The girl seemed almost like a silhouette with almost my same height. I couldn't see any of her fractions, but I was aware she was a girl because of her voice. With a lovely and almost childish voice, she said, Hey, aren't you happy? My answer was simple. Ah? Then she continued. He is here. He is here. You should be glad to be in his presence. So with a big confusion, I said, But who is him? There is nobody else here with us. She replied, Oh, him. He's an angel. And he's here, right in front of us. But it's okay, you can't see him. You mustn't see him. He's here to tell you something important. He's going to tell you your probability of entering the long-awaited heavens. I said nothing after that. The room was silent. We were just standing in the dark. It felt like an eternity until a high-pitched male voice I had never heard said, So, I'm going to tell you, what are your chances of getting into the kingdom of heaven? I remained silent. I didn't know what to say and I felt that I shouldn't interrupt whatever was speaking. So he continued. Yours are 27%. That's all you get. That's all you deserve. Again the silence took over the room. I was shocked by the low number, but also shocked that it was measured in probability. I wanted to ask anything. But I couldn't speak. No matter, I tried. But I couldn't move. So I looked outside through the door. Right in front of the door is the bathroom. So I could see the mirror on the wall. I could see my silhouette, the silhouette of the girl, and something else right in front of us. A really big silhouette of someone, something that was invisible. The more I looked, the clearer it seemed, as if someone was slowly giving more illumination to the bedroom. Like a really tall person wearing a dark grey, almost black, hooded robe. Out of the blue, he turned his head with a force and speed that if he had been a human, he would have broken his neck. Then I saw it. At first, looking like a normal face kind of long with big eyes. As I saw him, he saw me. I could hear the girl's voice saying in a voice full of panic and fear, almost crying, What? What have you done? I told you. I told you not to look. As she said that, the big silhouette appeared. It was not anymore in the mirror. He was standing in front of us. From this point, I couldn't move, no matter what. The more that I looked, the more deformed his face got. I could hear how many of his bones cracked and got broken as he moved. Seemed that he wanted to say something, but as soon as he moved his mouth, his upper jaw snapped in half, generating a horrible sound and I could see some of his teeth fall to the floor with a black liquid that was coming out of his body. All that he could do was a horrible and distorted sound, almost like a dying animal. He was looking directly into my eyes and I could see how both of his eyes started to melt and part of them falling into my face. When I thought his eyes were already gone, they popped out of his head and started getting closer and closer to my face until the point of touching it. Right after that, the angel started screaming, an atrocious screaming, full of pain and agony. 
getting louder and louder until I woke up. The minutes passed, even after managing to control my breathing. The image of the face of the angel was buried into my brain. The image was so vivid that I can still hear his screaming while looking at the drawing I made of him.